Uh, what got into his head right there. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Murray with it. Picked up by Portis. In the corner, it's Gordon. The three-pointer, no good. Here's Giannis. And the call up against Jokic. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Pass to Middleton. Nobody near Allen. And to Dekumbo. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You can tell that Giannis takes pride in his activity level, the way he plays, his intensity level. And you see the result of that activity on second chance buckets like this. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Fans are really excited to see Michael Porter Jr. finally get back to his previous form, aren't they? Yeah, Kevin, that 2021 season, he exploded, simply blew up. Averaged 19 points a game that season and made 44% of his threes. He's got the potential to be a real force going forward. Porter in the corner. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Takes it down to Middleton. From outside, off the mark. The Nuggets trail by four. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, I did speak with Mike Budenholzer for a few minutes. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Count that one. Andre Dekumbo's got eight points. Boy, he is so dangerous from this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tightly, powers through. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a legit deep ball threat. Now here's Giannis. Eight points for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the picture of consistency. Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. With his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting to his spot. Murray, no good. And so onto Dekumbo will bring it up for the Bucks. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Trains the three-pointer. He has five. And how smooth is that jumper? Middleton making it look easy from the corner. Stolen by Allen. Now here is Anadikumbo. Chris Middleton. Shots good by Middleton. Man, I tell you what, Middleton does a nice job using his length inside. You know, when he gets in a good spot, he's a high percentage shooter from there. That'll be three seconds. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Not sure what he was thinking about with that pass. Just sailed it right out of bounds. Milwaukee leading by seven. I see him. I see him. Over to the wing. Right wing. 
There's Portis. Can't hit from in close. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Bucks on top, leading by seven. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Jokic, no good. Milwaukee in the lead. Chris Middleton. You know, this Denver team used to run a lot, but over the last few seasons, they've significantly slowed down their pace. Now, here's Porter. Pass to Murray. That one's not going to go. Now the Bucks take it the other way. And the Nuggets start playing slower. More half-court basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game of multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and scorer. So... He dissects opposing defenses from anywhere on the court, and the staff has adjusted how they play to fit Joker's skill set. That's a smart move. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Michael Porter Jr. was a top prospect in his high school class, but his back injury has presented a constant challenge. He says, it changed my perspective. I'm just going to get up every day and try to be better than I was the day before. If I'm giving my best every day, then I'm good. Back to you guys. Well, you hope he stays healthy. That has been a concern. Thanks, David. loose and it's out of bounds the Bucks able to retain possession here yeah gets a finger on it but just can't quite come up with the steal clearly a careless pass he got away with one there now here's Giannis the 12 point lead their biggest of the game and there's the shot clock violation couldn't get the shot off in time on you talk to the great ball handlers and they say greg that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it why is that it's like a dance you're eluding the defender mostly with your feet the, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride milwaukee leading by 12. pass to Connaughton. From deep three-point range. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Hits the three-point bomb. Caldwell Pope's got it back down to single digits for the Nuggets. Outside on the Kumbo. Hits it down to Middleton. Hits it from three-point range. Middleton's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bucks. Boy, that is a real weapon in Middleton's arsenal. I mean, when you hit a three on him, he wants that sweet revenge, and he's coming back at you. Hey, Clark, one stat where Jokic is consistently dominant, of course, is rebound. Well, he does everything well, but you're right. Season after season, game after game, Kevin, he is eating that glass. He stays near the top of that particular statistic. And he knows games are won and lost on the boards, and he wants to be able to contribute in that way. But he is a brilliant, brilliant player, not just a rebounder. Middleton on the wing. Launches a three. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
That's his first personal foul. And after spending his first seven years in Orlando, Aaron Gordon traded in 2021, going from the Magic, a team out of the playoffs, to a team chasing the title. And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando, Greg, how'd you think that deal worked out for him? Kevin, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon. Taking on more of a complimentary role and getting more big game experience. The shot's good. Yeah, cashing in in close. Caldwell Pope showing you there. He's more than just a jump shooter. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. <laughs> One nineteen left in the first half of the game. Porter with the steal. To the inside. Jokic draws the double. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Jokic has got his first two points. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Now Caldwell Pope. After the miss, three from Lopez. Here's Gordon. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Holiday surveying the floor. Middleton outside. Lopez right side. Fantastic defensive instincts. Encouraging signs of progress from Jokic. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Let's it go from deep. Jay Crowder pulls it in. Down low. Just three on the clock. Lopez. That's his Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Used all seven feet and about a third of a ton to get that one up and down. Got it off in time. The shot comes out. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Now here's Lopez. Jeff Green missing his last shot. The kick out to Holiday. The fader. And the basket is good. Lopez has got the first bucket of the third here for the Bucks. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are great in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, Forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched sky hook, which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. And it's Green missing. Pass to Lopez. And 
the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Here's Jokic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jokic has got six. Nice work from the Serbian. Jokic uses his body so well to get the looks he wants inside. Allen outside. And taken away by Brown. And Brown throws it down hard. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stop. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Shot clock at three. Allen for the three. One thing you've got to love about Grayson Allen is his confidence. For sure, and every good player has great confidence. And with Grayson, it shows up beyond the arc. I mean, we've watched him naturally morph into a volume three-point shooter. And every team values having a guy like him because he can really stretch the floor and create good spacing for your offense. Here's Lopez. Lays it up off the glass. Seven points in the game. Just like clockwork, Lopez doing damage inside. And it's sent back by Lopez. Two minutes for that. Oh, and here comes Holiday all alone. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. you got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for Milwaukee. Pass to Lopez. The kick out to Holiday. And the Bucks miss again. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. Now, here's Jokic. Good D by Lopez. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. The Bucks working the ball around. Offensive rebound. For three, Middleton. Jokic grabs the miss. The Nuggets trail by 13. Braun. The kick out to Brown. Outside, Green. Back to Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. At almost seven feet tall now, Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's happy to remind defenses that he can do so. Pass to Lopez. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Middleton inside the three-point line. Fell through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. The Bucks, 35. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Milwaukee leading by 11. Lopez outside. Looking to get it going. Yeah. 
Crowder inside. Pass to Ingles. Now here's Lopez. Six to shoot. Over Jokic. No good off the back of the rim. Porter inside. Here's Gordon. And he elevates for the slam dunk and Brooke Lopez did not like that. Hey, listen, Gordon once jumped over a mascot while putting the ball under his legs in a dunk contest. I mean, he's one of the most ridiculous athletes and dunkers we have in the game. Inside. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Jokic draws the double. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. It'll be a jump ball. Portis with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Here's Connaughton. It's Crowder on the wing. Outside Portis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Jokic. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. Pass to Ingles. To the wing right side. Portis with it. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Bucks lead by 10. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Well, you know what I like to say? Persistence pays. And with Gordon, he's the kind of guy who just does not rest on the glass. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That's his first foul. Here's Middleton. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Porter. Well, you look at the skill set and size of Middleton. Hard for any defense to match up against. Just so creative in how he draws contact and gets himself to the line. Middleton hits them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's Jokic. Who scores a six bucket from the four with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Jokic calling his own number time and time again. Taking over the scoring load tonight. Timeout called the Bucks. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Thanks, David. Two shots. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. And guys, how about the unselfishness? And all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, 
and just seeking out the best shot. For three, Caldwell Pope. Crowder with the steal. Portis for three. Milwaukee the rebound. Pass to Allen. On the wing, Ingles. Down to five on the shot clock. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Bucks leap by 11. Your heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the net. One fourteen left in the fourth quarter. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Allen for three. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Contavious Caldwell Pope, his defensive quickness sets him apart. At the line for Denver. He makes the second free throw, and that brings them to within 10. And he nails the third. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Takes it down to Middleton. Three-pointer. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. And Jokic throws it down. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team. But he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. It's Allen on the wing. Back to Ingles. On deep. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Caldwell Pope on the wing. A three-pointer off the mark. A clear look here for Middleton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And...